Ladies and gentlemen, one second. I apologize for that. I had the mic still on. As a matter of fact, let me turn it completely off. So that it doesn't continue to interfere with what we're doing. And I see it doesn't want to turn off. There we go. Now let's uh, get rid of that. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. We're back to where we started. And we just hit save. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the micro trust of the macro trust package that we're putting together. And because of the provisions and the way this is being put together and because it's going after gaining control of all of the securities held in your minor account, designed to go through bankruptcy chapter 11 because it has all of the points that are necessary for chapter 11, this will be done, it will take a couple of weeks. It is not as simple as it seems. This is a trust and it has three instruments embedded in it. You'll find that out when you, those of you who get the package, you'll find out the three different instruments embedded within the package. Now, I'd like to say that I am one of the first to do so and one of the first to embed the arbitration agreement within the agreement itself and to provide that for people. This is not about trying to start a business of doing trust. We already started a business doing trust. Okay, so this is not trying to start something new. This is continuing the concept and idea of what was created in 1998 when Richard Fuller, the young man rocket scientist, who told me about the First Amendment right to petition for redress, had never read it before, and if I had, never paid attention to it. Didn't know what redress meant until he made me Go and look up redress and learn what it meant. He knew what he was doing because that wasn't a fluke. He said that he knew that out of all of the people that he'd come in contact with, that I would do something with that. That was 1998. And I haven't stopped talking about redress. Go ahead, listen to my videos and see how often, look at my documents and see how often I use that word. They couldn't have told me a better word. That word solidifies everything. So putting this document together, allowing people to go after their assets, their property. I say this, who else would have told you that you could literally write a simple letter with just putting your address on it and signing your name and be available to getting federal credits well over a trillion dollars if you do it right who else and you can get nine billion nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents worth of federal credit in three days if you just pay attention the video is already up and none of this is illegal it's all legal Especially this document is 50 pages right now. And all it has is facts. We're not putting any of that conjecture stuff in here. We're dealing strictly with the facts. So it is my hope that some of y'all will understand. We're going to try to keep the cost of this down, but there's a lot of work to be done with this. There's a lot of everyone who gets this package will get automatically a non-profit religious faith-based organization automatically that's theirs to operate through to no longer have to worry about all of these taxation issues remember they are having no other choice but to change the system the system is failing the dollar bill is failing the dollar bill is on decline if you don't believe me just pay attention this week you're going to be hearing more and more and more about it that petrodollar issue, you haven't even seen the effects of that yet. Give it another month and a half, and I guarantee you, you'll see change. And it's all going to happen right about the election time, and they got all of these distractions coming your way. 
You got Donald Trump. He's going to be sentenced to 100 billion years. The first president, blah, 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 blah. You're going to have that junk going on. Then you're going to have news coming out about the truth of what happened on October 7th of last year with Israel and Palestine. Oh, and then oh, wait till they start talking about the bodies that are buried underneath all of that rubble that they haven't accounted for. They're keeping the number low so that they don't shock the world. But we know that it's several hundred thousand people who have been killed in those bombings. Remember, they had two million people in Gaza. Two million. Look now. That don't look like two million, do it? Oops. So wait till these things start coming out. And then the dollar starts to plummet and fall. And no recovery. Then you're going to need something that has value. Because you know, even at that time, they're still going to want to tax you. You know that's how this government got started. It's with taxation. And you know they're going to want to put laws in place to restrict you from doing everything. So you're going to have to start protecting your interests. So those of you who pay attention, I would pay more attention. Those of you who don't pay attention, well, you know, keep doing what you're doing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let you guys go. I am going to take a break from this. Been working on this all day. Got almost 25 more pages to go. It's a lot of work, but we're going to get it taken care of. This is all, I'm just proofreading. It's already done. I'm just proofreading. There are certain things that I got to make sure the points are solid. No loopholes, no vulnerabilities. Take care, everyone.